South America is a melting pot of extraordinary diversity. Wedged between the Andean Mountains and the Peru-Chile submarine oceanic trench lies a region known as the Pacific Coastal Belt. This belt extends along one of the longest mountain ranges on Earth. It connects the deepest points of the ocean floor with the highest mountain peaks in the Southern Hemisphere. This area exemplifies South America's diversity through a fusion of ancient civilizations, archeological wonders, and a unique, unrivaled variety of ecosystems, organisms, and endemic species. Our voyage from Guayaquil to Valparaiso celebrates South America's magnitude of diversity and provides us with an opportunity to experience deep connection to the natural world. This voyage for me as an ornithologist is quite incredible. Not because we see hundreds and hundreds of species of birds, but because we see hundreds and hundreds of a few different species. But it gives us that opportunity to really study their behaviour. The blue-footed boobies are showing each other their feet and their health in several different ways. Firstly, you've got the whistling call that attracts the mate in. Once you've got the mate's attention, you're going to walk around. It's almost like a, a goose step. You're lifting your feet higher and you're walking in a very exaggerated way. If that's not enough, you need to do something else to attract attention. So what the male does then is he lifts his wings up, pointing their tail up and lifting their head, pointing skywards as well, at the same time as making whistling noises. So they're really kind of exaggerating their beautiful bodies to look good from the front, which is where the female is. So they're really showing off, not just the colour of their feet, but their whole body and displaying their feathers in that way. I'm fascinated by those smaller details. So when I look at a bird, I'm not just seeing the species, I'm looking at exactly what it's doing and thinking about why it's doing it. And it stimulates those questions in my head that make it exciting for me. We're visiting such amazing places and many of the islands that we're visiting and the coastlines that we'll be visiting are incredible places for wildlife and that for me is the highlight of this voyage. What is really special is to do this voyage by ship. We've heard about the trade of these ancient cultures, that they went all the way down south to Chile. And this was also by means of water, with rafts. I just really like that we do something similar. We go to the big centre of these cultures and for a few times I really had the feeling that we travelled in time. The voyage is also exciting because you have of course the famous Nazca lines that have given birth to all sorts of theories and myths and as a young kid I definitely felt attracted to that mysterious South America. So for me there is mystery, there is darkness and there is adventure, absolutely.
For me, what's exciting about going to visit the Atacama Desert is that this is a really unique system. We're going to a place which is extremely high up and it's incredibly dry. Outside of the polar regions, this is the driest desert in the world. And there are weather stations here which have never recorded rainfall. We don't have systems like this anywhere else in the world. And that uniqueness of the ecosystems here, combined with the incredible visual drama of the volcanoes and of these very barren, very arid landscapes behind them, is something that's really going to stick with me. If I was to sit there and be able to choose any other job in the world that I could do, I think I'd be pretty hard pressed to find something other than what I do now. I think the key to expedition cruising is you can have people from all different backgrounds on a Zodiac. It could be their first time out here on the water, but we all come together to really share in this amazing part of the world. It really encapsulates what my job is and while I continue to do this for as long as I can. The Zodiacs allow us to actually get up close and personal with where we are and what we're trying to achieve. So a day like today, we've got wildlife all around, you can have an intimate experience. I think we also get that butterfly in the valley kind of moment. You really don't have to look very far in this pristine environment for that to just happen naturally. And for us to be able to witness that in the natural environment is, for me, what Zodiac Cruising is all about. Encounters with wildlife is among the experiences which make expedition cruising so different and interesting. They are true gifts and the least we can do when they happen is to fully enjoy them. This is why we never hesitate to divert the ship or even to stop in the middle of the sea in order to embrace those moments of communion with nature. The show that we had today with these whales breaching endlessly right in front of the ship in a warm afternoon light was definitely among the most extraordinary ones I had ever witnessed.